Today we're going to use JavaScript to generate a random number, but first, let me explain why. A little bit ago, the DevTips channel marched its way across the million view line. This is a very big deal to me. I asked you all to send in videos of yourself proclaiming the DevTips motto of keep on hacking. You should check out that video, it's flippin' sweet. Today we're gonna select one of those dev tippers to win a $100 gift card, and we're going to do so by writing a random number generator in JavaScript. Okay, so I'm gonna start with just three documents. I already have set up the index.html, the style.css, and winner.js. The index.html is just this little short snippet of markup here. We have a winner box, a winner text, and the winner name. And then there's three styles just to make it look like this. Red, uh, winner text, and then the winner name inside of a box. And then here in the winner.js, I already have an array built out with all of the names of the people who submitted the video. So what we're gonna do is gonna make a new line here in the JavaScript. And let me just kinda outline what our process should be. First, we want to uh, generate a random number. Then after that, apply that number to uh, the HTML layout. Okay, so it should be simple. So let's start the first one, generate a random number. So first we're going to create a function, and we'll just call that winner. Okay, now Here's the content of the function. We want to generate the random number. So we're going to say uh, math with a capital M. That always throws me off. Random. OK. Uh, let's put a return in front of that. All right, and then we'll just come down here and make a console uh, log. And then inside of the console log, we'll write winner and make it a function. And then if we go into our console on our, our web page here, uh, and hit refresh, save and refresh. Okay, we're gonna get, generate a random number between zero and one, and hit refresh a few times so you can see that I'm always just generating a, like a decimal, uh, a number with a decimal point uh, between zero and one. So what we need to do is take this return math random here and put some tricky kind of math on it and kind of constrain the uh, zero to one number that it gets returned and convert it into a number between two or two ranges, okay? So let's say, for example, we have 10 items and we want to convert this random number into a number between one and 10. Well, here's how to do that. You say, uh, take our first from our max number, 10, and minus our minimum number, one. Put those both in the parentheses because you want to do that operation first, and then you add the minimum number one. All right, so let's save that and see what pops up in our console. Now we have nine point nine, um, nine point three, and nine point nine seven four. We're getting a random number um, between one and ten, just like we wanted, but the number has a decimal place on it, and we want a whole number. We want a, a whole integer. So what we want to do there is take this whole operation of math and put it in parentheses and we'll put a function on top of it another function called math floor now that will take the decimal place right off so seven two nine see good so our function now returns a random number between one and ten but we don't necessarily want a random number between one and 10. We want a random number between a range of two numbers, and we want to specify that at any time when we call the function. So we'll put placeholder arguments here of min and max, and we'll go into this uh, little function we wrote, and everywhere where there's a 10, we'll write max, and everywhere there's a one, we'll write min. Okay, so now we'll say winner, will have to say uh, the min will be one, and the max will be 10. Let's say the max is 20. Now when we call that function, it's between 1 and 20. This could You could put this at anything now, 1 and 60. All right? Now that we've got this, we want to learn how do we can apply that number to our HTML layout and find the winner. So again, we're starting with this, this variable of dev tippers, and the, and the variable has an array of all the names of the people who contributed to the dev tip video. 
and I want to take one of their names and apply it and replace these question marks in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use regular JavaScript. This is not jQuery, and I was actually um, given a lot of help by dev tipper Timo to write this out for me, so thank you so much, Timo. Um, we're going to start with uh, finding the element here, and this is a, uh, an HTML class of winner name. So we'll do it like this, document dot query selector and then parentheses and in there we're going to write our uh, class name it, and it's winner name. Now that we have our selector written we'll use the operation of inner HTML and then equals and we can write anything here and that will kind of insert uh, the string in here. So if I say hello, it should, yeah, right here. So now I need to get that random number to find me one of these random names inside of this array. So if I put the, the variable's name that holds the array is called dev tippers, and then uh, the array number, let's say number eight. This is not the winner, this is just an example of how this is going to work. Number eight is going to be David Vasquez. Okay, so now we have to get re replace this eight with a random number. And we're going to use our function called winner. And we'll say we want the random number between zero and uh, however many there are here. And we can find out how many there are by using JavaScript length. So we'll say dev tippers dot length. All right, that's it. Now when I hit save, my browser is going to refresh and we're going to have the winner. Let me actually let me comment this out and hit refresh. So we can start with the question marks. Okay. Now when I hit refresh on this document, we're going to find out who won the $100 gift card for contributing their video to the dev tip community video. Again, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch it. It's super fun. Everybody is awesome. And at the end of the video, I talk about what the phrase keep on hacking means to me. But without further ado, here is the winner. Yeah, here. Uh, that's it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned a little bit as we select the winner of our, of our uh, giveaway. And Yakir, send me a message or leave a comment in the comments below the video of how I can get a hold of you and get this, and get this gift card to you. Thanks again to everyone for making 1 million views a reality. I'm so proud of what we've done together. Remember to keep on hacking, my friends, in your code, in your life, in everything. Never give up. Keep on hacking.